Thank you, uh, Blake. Mr. Oliver. Thank you, sir. Well, this has been a tough week for, you know, everybody. Uh, everybody up here for the citizens, and uh, I know it's been one for me as well. Um, Mayor was correct in, in one particular thing he said a moment ago. Uh, we hear you, and uh, we hear you loud and clear. I, um, I, th I think we're going to do the right thing here and, and make this right. But as I said earlier in the, um, uh, in the work session where a lot of you were not here, uh, this has never been about the logo for me because I am not an artsy-minded person. So, you know, what I think looks good, somebody else probably think, how, could, how in the world do you think that looks good? Um, when I saw the logo for the first time, I was not able to make uh, the meeting in, in Birmingham when they went down to uh, take a look at it, but I did see it the following day, and it wasn't attractive to me. I never saw the what everybody's talking about, the, the F. That didn't jump out to me. That, that kind of gives you an idea where I am in my mind with art, but it was all about color scheme for me, and it just seemed so simple. I was expecting something bigger. But So let's set that aside for a minute. It, it wasn't about the logo. It was about for me, when I learned just last week uh, the information that I had never heard before about how Tatum Designs, uh, you know, ended up with the uh, uh, with the deal, and how that I was under the assumption that uh, uh, the local people were vetted and in in you know either a uh, nobody was interested in doing it. Then I heard the story where. Nobody was capable of doing it. Then I heard about an RFP. Then I'm hearing there is no RFP. So I've heard all these stories. And so had I known that stuff going in, Mayor was correct about this as well. I approved the money for the deal based on that misinformation. And uh, I think Mr. Carson mentioned a moment ago that I failed the community. He's absolutely right. I did. I should have done a little more background and gone with my gut, which I have mentioned. Uh, in a couple of uh, Facebook posts that, you know, I apologize to the community. I should have listened to my gut. I knew there's some talented people around here. Uh, I wish we would have uh, given them a better heads up about uh, what we were trying to do, but it's turned out I've heard from four different uh, design companies or firms or whatever you want to call them who knew absolutely nothing about this. They had no idea. We were even in a rebranding process. so. Had I been privy to that information, I, I may have been the only no vote, I don't know, but I would have never, ever approved money to leave the city of Florence had uh, had I had that information, but I didn't. So uh, leaving that alone for a minute, personally for me, it's been a tough week for me. I, and it, it, this didn't come from the public, but it came internally from City Hall. There was some emails leaked that included me in those emails. And I've been accused of being the culprit of the one that leaked the emails. I'm flattered that people think I'm intelligent enough to do that, but I gotta tell you, my nine-year-old son has to help me navigate my iPhone, so I don't have the brains to do something like that. I've been accused of throwing people under the bus simply because I've spoke to the media. They ask me a question, I try to be transparent. I try to speak and tell the truth. I don't run from them. If they want to talk, I'm going to, I'm going to listen. I've been accused of character assassination. Organizing a witch hunt. I can prove all this stuff. Anybody wants to see it? I've got text. And just last night, I was labeled shameful for speaking to the media. I was told to be quiet, be silent. Well, I'm not going to be. And I work with these people up here. I respect each and every one of them. I know I've hurt some of their feelings. And, you know, we may have lost some friendships over this. And I'm hoping and praying that we have not. The only way that we can fix this is as a group, the mayor and us six. 
So, you know, if I've hurt anybody's feelings, I publicly apologize. But I think the mayor said it best. I'll repeat, we hear you, we're gonna do what's right. And uh, I will repeat and I'll shut up. I wanna see this job done by local talent. I whether, whether it's a, a design firm, whether it's University of North Alabama, which I still say we missed a golden opportunity without pairing with the University of North Alabama. Even our high school has a fine arts department that's, I'd put them up against anybody. We, we just missed a golden opportunity and I know we're gonna make this right. So be patient with us and let's just chill, take a deep breath. Guys, Appreciate y'all being here tonight. I promise you the last six meetings we've had have not gone over 20 minutes. And tonight, this is not an example of what these meetings are all about. They're never like this all the time. So thank y'all for being here and thank you for what you're, you're learning and doing, okay? Thank you, Mr. President.